Hello, beautiful beings. I'm back. All right. I took an envelope. You get a pocket. Corner pocket. All you got to do is take an envelope and cut it. Yes. Then you can have a pocket. Okay. I painted it with white paint on the inside and this side. And I didn't do this side because we're going to glue this to that. Okay. Use Maj Maj because it dries fast. Then I got this. I want to put, I think, either that clock or that clock. This clock or that clock. And, and this is made from Jamie Act. And you can get it at thecraftersworkshop.com. It's made in the USA. And it's Jamie Act. Hopefully, it's pronouncing that right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the clock. This is going to be facing this way in a journal like that. So we're going to take the clock. Which one? I think I like that one better. We're going to have a inker and ink. I think I want black. I think I'm going to use black. black. Where's my black? Probably at the bottom. My black distressed ink. I like this ink because it's waterproof in case you get moisture on it. Right, I'm gonna put that there like so. Right. Voila. Little clock. Okay, beautiful beings. I decided I'm doing the embellishments on the smaller camera. Cause it's too much of a hassle. And I also decided that I wanted to put a couple more clock things on here. Maybe we'll do a hand of the clock. Cause what is it? Okay, and there's another thing I forgot I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. Just to make some golden berries on the tip of these. Now, what I want to do is I want that there and I want this one there. I don't have a piece that will fit the whole thing, so I have to divide it. I'm pretty sure this goes up. This one, I don't know. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna glue it up. That's good. I have to go get pliers to get the lid off this, but this glue dries pretty fast. So I'm gonna get this on there. Just wrap it around. Nozzle. Oh, wait a minute. I can't do it that way because they'll block that. And that won't be able to... Rethink. Rethink. I'm going to do it that way. I'm kind of just doing this on the fly. <laughs> I had an idea, but. Block where you, you know, put your, you know, your photo in, your photo, paper, whatever, you want to stick in there. So people like to write notes of the experience during fall, the holidays, or whatever.
and it stuff dries. Really fast art glitter. This I've been refilling this and refilling this, so it's kind of looks, you know, used. <laughs> I'm gonna have to glue it back on here because I think I'm done. I think I'm gonna it's gonna be glued down enough. Just cut all that off, trim it all off, but I think that looks cute. Probably should put some glue in there, but we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to use Elena's. This stays glued down. I want the other glue, but it just won't work with me. I need to take a little bit more out. Sorry guys. Our crafting plans don't always fall through, it's likely they switch up on us, they switch up on us, but I love that nozzle on here, because you can just pour it out and it just pours out a little bit more, but I haven't used it in so long, it's dried up, now I gotta clean the nozzle, all right, I'm just going down the edges, Good old handy toothpick. Then I'm gonna have to open the other brand new one I got. This one's hat spent, it's had it. Oh yeah, I gotta make sure I don't glue that together too. Cause that's the tuck. Alright, I'm gonna put that down. Close this up. Find something sticking there. So it doesn't close up on me. Glue up on me. So I'm gonna stick that in there like that. Make sure that's pushed down. And we'll set that aside. That's what it's gonna look like. All this off. I don't need this. Might need this. I don't know. First, see, we just have a bunch of stuff and we're gonna throw it in together. I mixed a bunch of paint again together, just on a piece of scrap that we had left over from the cardstock we cut to fit into the journal. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. These are embellishments that will be going into the journal. I got this from a roll of words. Just cut that off. Okay. This is an old leaf I glittered, so if you want to glitter your leaves, just make sure you put baby powder on your hands like this over the garbage. And then just pat it like that. That way it don't stick. Because this, these, all these ones I made before I knew about the baby powder trick, they were all stuck together <laughs> in the package <laughs> that I stored them in. This stuff, a hiso spray to stiffen it, so it didn't. So these parts right here didn't fall, come off. Cause they come off. See, I could pull that right out if I wanted to. So I sprayed it so it wouldn't fall apart. So I could use it in the journal without it falling apart. And I wanted to see if it worked, how good it worked. But I just remembered it's still outside. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get that. These are just scraps, so we're just gonna throw them behind the word. Behind the word. There's that one. 
And the other one, when it's dry, I'll show them both to you. Okay, this one is going to be made out of a napkin. I just wanted to show you the napkin. Okay, I'll cut it out. This is a Kleenex box. I just painted it white because napkins show the background because they're so thick. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to take the napkin. And I'm going to put the pumpkin on this side. So I'm going to cut the thank you out. I'm gonna glue that there. I don't want this hair somewhere, but I want the material there, so we're gonna see what we can do. I don't think this is going to be long enough, so I'm just going to add some over here. Should have done much picture. I'm trying not to, I don't want to ruin the napkin. Okay, sorry about that. We're gonna add the neck in here. Then I'm gonna let it dry before I cut it out. I don't know if I want that. Maybe I'll just put it all the way down. So. Okay, so I'm getting the other word out like this. I'm ripping it. I should have done it that way to begin with because I ripped my word. See, I'm trying to get that one out. So we're just gonna fill this, hopefully, easily off. That. And I'm gonna stick that right there like that. So I'm gonna put it down where I want it. Okay. I 
make sure your hands are clean because we're working with white if you're working with white. Really anything. See how that blends in when it's ripped better? Blends right in. Okay. Go. All I did was rip around it. I'm going to put some right here. I'm gonna just let this set dry. And then we'll be back. Okay, I took the Mod Podge. I put a little bit on the edges, just a tiny bit. So I could push the napkin down on the edges, okay? Then I forgot to tell you, I had this cutter, and I took it like this, and that's how I made that hole that has a circle, and if you don't have that, just take something that's round, draw a line on the back like this, and you cut it out that way, okay? I'm gonna add this to the bottom. So I'm gonna put this on the bottom. Just a little bit of glue. And that squeeze me, I'm just making sure it's all the way through. I'm gonna put this on like that. And the bottom. And I was thinking, I wanted to put a little glitter in a pumpkin. Take this, go down like that. Your glitter pen. Make a little glitter in it. And then this is dry. I'm gonna put them on a tripod camera and show you how to put them. The rest, of the pockets in the folder and then we'll be done with this part okay beautiful beans I decided I'm gonna have this show I was gonna cover it up with belly band but it looks better without it cover it up so we're just gonna add some bling diamond wraps okay I didn't take the sticker part off I just took one of the sticker part so those are so this one's gonna be done finally I was gonna cover that up with this like that but I decided I'm just gonna put it over the top of it and this is all done and dry so we're gonna cut this off go over the flowers with the gel pen also. Okay? From Dollar Tree. And this one comes single, I believe, with two in it. Okay. Hey, beautiful beings. I'm going to add our embellishments. 
And I wanted to show you this. I found the package. It comes with these two. I'll have one wrapped down in here like this. And then these are the same, and this one isn't. From Dollar Tree for a Okay. I mark that there. So I can see. And I already put the glue on embellishment, so I'll stick and stay in place, hopefully. I gotta flip it to the other side. I'm just gonna line this up. So I know how far to go up. Glue this down. Right. Glue that there. That's in between the, the corner pocket and the bottom pocket. Napkin ready. I'm gonna take the bottom pocket. I'm gonna glue that down like that. I just put the glue on the end and on the sides. So now it's still not. I'm gonna let it sit for like it had to have been four minutes. I'm gonna to really clean your pressure a little bit longer, but so when I flip it, it doesn't move. I got this right to the edge, so I'm not worried about that. Right there, because when you sew it in the journal, it's not really gonna show. I just want it all the way to the end on the bottom in the corner. Alright, now we're gonna take this one. here and then the side and then the back the whole back I'll show you I forgot to show you see because our pockets right there and I made sure I didn't put the glue on the edge too much because we don't want to glue the shut right here okay Slip, so I'm gonna have to wait until this dries to do the other side because I don't want it all screwed up. So I'll be back when it dries. Okay, now we're gonna do the front of the journal. I'm gonna put glue here. So I'm gonna put some more of the burlap lace along there. Down good, so put the other one. Make sure it's even over here, edge all the way down, so it just comes out a little bit. All right, now we're gonna go this down. And I'm gonna sew along this afterwards. But you can glue, put, if you're gonna not sew, make sure you glue this down. Make sure it's close as you can get, because remember, some of it's gonna, this part really won't show this tiny bit, like right here. When you sew them in a book, it really won't show up that much. So I'm gonna have it come away from that a little bit. Right. So if you want to glue it down, you can. I'm just gluing the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to apply glue to the bottom and to the top. Okay. Oh, 
I did was take a piece of ribbon, a long piece of ribbon that I had out. I don't know what's right there. Yeah. I took this, this ribbon, basic ribbon, and then I took some leaf. Ribbon see-through, where's that at? Sorry, I said I had everything out. I took some of this and I just wrapped it around a ribbon. I just wrapped it around a ribbon and then I sewed it down. You can hand stitch it too. All the way around. I didn't do the top though. I just sewed it down there. Oh, I guess I did. I did do a stitch across the top and across the bottom. Okay? That's how I made that. Down here. I want it to go all the way to the bottom of this because we're putting another embellishment across the top, which will hold stuff in. And again, I want this out more because I'm going to sew along here. And then when this dries and it's sewed, I will show you things you can tuck in it. Alright, make sure this, this one don't want to stick down right there in that spot. Right, make sure when you guys glue something down for like 10 minutes you keep going back and making sure it's glued down. Alright, so you don't just set something on it and walk away because sometimes it doesn't glue all the way down along this part, okay? Just make sure you just keep coming back and checking it. Let's see how good it's gluing. All right, now this one we made is gonna go up here. And all I'm gonna do is glue right along the edge here and right along the edge here and leave this open so you can tuck stuff up in it. And if you do so, just glue your stuff down with enough glue and then check this the other side. Like flip it over and see how it would affect the other side if you if you sew something in it. See so make sure you see how it affects. See I'll just have a a line up here and then a line down here. Let me sew that in. So always check the other side to make sure how it's gonna affect it see if it'd look all right or not. But a little sewing and zigzagging and a simple stitch down just adds character, I think. All right, and I want this right on the edge. So, of course, I'm gonna have to turn it so my head don't get away. Make sure, see that wasn't even close. And then I'll keep coming back and I'll keep chucking this and pushing it down to make sure it glues down and attaches well. And there you have it, okay? Burlap, lace, and then embellishment up to tuck stuff in, embellishment over here, and I might even put a stitch in the middle of here, which I probably will, so you can have a tuck spot there and a tuck spot there. And then when this is all dry, I'll come back and do the final display of the whole, we're gonna call it a file, decorated file, because it is a file, <laughs> basically a file. It's a file of nooks and crannies of tux, okay? All right. Guess what, beautiful beings, this fell on the floor, so I totally forgot to add this down here, and that's what I'm gonna do, okay? Lap lace on the bottom. Totally forgot. It fell on the floor. It was out of view. Remember this bend, so I'm going to just put it this way. That. Oh, I just want it to hang over a little bit. Just a little bit. 
and voila. Okay. Okay, finally done. Let me show you the front. And I'll do a close up the inside and the back. Okay. With this, I did sew down. Just down there and down there. And I also I got the tripod right in the middle of me. <laughs> I sewed there and sewed there and sewed there. And then we got our burlap lace trim, whatever you want to call it there. And then we got pocket here for side pictures. In there. And then put one in here. I'm trying to stand up. I'm standing up doing this. <laughs> so then you got the top there. And then just put like two or three pictures down here if you want. That's my Aunt Cora. And she's beautiful. She lived in New York City. She loved the city life. And then where I sewed it on the other side, I wanted to show you what it looks like. Like right there. It's nothing. It's really nothing. There. There. I think it just adds character to the journal here. Where I sewed that. A little bit there I screwed up. It's okay for right there. And I sewed it all the way up. And I did sew this all the way over. Just because I want my pockets to last. So because they're gonna be do doing lots of tucking and pulling. And down here you can fit a lot of photos if you wanted to. Okay. Here. And then the belly band will fit two or three of them on both sides. Put one there. And then put one over here. Same thing with this one. Our little belly bands, our leaf belly bands. Okay, so down here, fit a lot. And then the back, pocket here, pocket here, and then a pocket up there. And if you wanted to, you could even put like something small right here and have it just a little tuck. Okay, but I think I'm gonna add something to here because this is. I don't like that, so I'm probably going to add something to that. There's my embellishments up close. Okay. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful everything. <laughs>